Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Photolia, the stock photography community. In this video, we'll be taking JPEGs into Adobe Camera Raw, and there we'll be dealing with presets and snapshots. So let's jump in and see how it's done. So here I am in Bridge, and you can see that I'm in my stock images folder. These are images that I've already got from Photolia. And I've got this one up here, it's called Bag, and that's the one I'm going to open first in Adobe Camera Raw. As default, JPEGs don't open in Adobe Camera Raw, so we need to sort that one out first. If you're on a Windows machine, then you'll need to go to File, and then find Camera Raw Preferences. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to go to the Adobe Bridge CC menu, and there's my Camera Raw Preferences. Once we're open, whether on a Mac or a Windows machine, this dialog box will look the same, and it's this section down the bottom that I want to change. JPEG and TIFF handling. So here, JPEG is what we want, and I want to automatically open all supported JPEGs. Right, I'm all ready to go, let's click OK. So now, one click onto my image here, and then if I click this icon here, it'll open in Adobe Camera Raw. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a very high contrast image. Now we'll deal more with Adobe Camera Raw in future videos, so don't forget to subscribe. But for now, just take my word for it, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to move the clarity slider up and the contrast slider right up, and then the highlights and the whites right down, and the shadows and the blacks all the way to the top. And now I've got my high contrast image. If I want to see a before and after, I can press the P key for preview. So P, that's before, and that's after. So there we go. Right, I'm gonna come over to this icon at the end here called Snapshots. I'm gonna click that, and I'm gonna create a new snapshot. So down the bottom, a new, and I'll call this one High Contrast. And click OK. Now I can go back, and I can change it. Now I'm going to bring the clarity down a little bit and maybe make it a bit warmer. Let's put a little bit of a vignette on that as well. There we go. And back to my snapshots, create a new snapshot. I'm going to call this one Dreamy. And click OK. Now I've got two snapshots, one called Dreamy and one called High Contrast. And I can flick between the two with ease. High Contrast and dreamy. So high contrast is the one I'll stick with, and I click done. And sure enough, it's updated for me. Now remember, these are all non-destructive. Bridge doesn't work in destructive ways. What happens, it'll put a sidecar file in with this particular image. And so when Photoshop opens this image, it'll look to see what the sidecar says it should do with it first. So I've got my high contrast image, but now I think, oh no, I really want it to be that dreamy one. That's not a problem. Back into Adobe Camera Raw, back to my snapshots, dreamy, and done. Within the same image, I can have various types of it. Let's return into that image, into Adobe Camera Raw. And I'm gonna to go to this flyout menu right at the very end and choose Camera Raw Defaults. And that'll put us back to where we were at the very beginning. Now let's create that high contrast again. So let's bring the contrast up, the clarity up, blacks, shadows, highlights, and whites. And I'm gonna bring down the vibrance this time and quickly add, whoops, quickly add a vignette. Now this is something that I might want to add to different images. So rather than a snapshot, what I'm gonna go is to this icon here. And this one is for presets. So let's click on that click on new, and we get this dialog box. Now here, I can save as much as or as little as I like into this preset. Now for me, I'd like to keep everything in here, but I don't have to, I can turn them off via the checkboxes, or I can use the subset as well. So just the lens correction stuff, or just the post crop vignetting. But for me, on this one, all settings will work fine. I'm gonna call this one high contrast, plus vignette, and click OK. And there it is. I'm going to click Done. And Bridge updates my image for me. Let's take this image next to it, these brushes here. 
Once again, let's click on the icon to open it in Adobe Camera Raw. Now, because we saved the high contrast and vignette as a preset, they're carried through Adobe Camera Raw. So there they are. And I can just click on that and it applies those settings to this image. Now I can go back and change things should I wish, if I want to bring the vibrance up or down, or maybe the clarity wants to come down a little bit, and then click Done. I can use that preset as a starting point. What's really cool is I don't even need to go into the image. So let's scooch along and find another suitable image that I've got here. Let's try this one here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, Develop Settings, and you can see that our high contrast and vignette is there. So let's click on that and it updates it without us going anywhere near Adobe Camera Raw. Now I can do that to a whole range. So if you imagine there's a whole load of photographs you've taken and you want the same style to be applied to them all, all you have to do is select them all in Adobe Camera Raw, right click on the, one of the images, go to develop settings, and then click on the setting that you want. Now what about removing them? Well, you can see here that we have a clear settings. So I can go back there and it'll take all the settings off as well. A quick Google search will turn up a whole host of Adobe Camera Raw presets that you can use on various different websites. So go ahead, go and experiment, use them as a starting point for your images. I'm Eric Renault. Thank you very much for joining me for this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you back here for Photolia very soon. Bye bye for now.